Hello everybody, uh, my name is Brian Bartell. I'm with uh, St. George Spirits based out of Alameda, California. Uh, I'm here today at Wine Press. Uh, we're gonna talk a little St. George, uh, mix up some cocktails, and uh, get a little buzz on. Um, so a little history about us starting in 1982, really considered the original craft distiller in the United States. Um, like I said, we're based out of Alameda, California, just up in the Bay Area by Oakland and San Francisco. Um, as you can see by the bottles around me, and if you're familiar with us, we make a little bit of everything. Uh, our Pera Eau de Vie being our flagship, first thing we ever made in 1982. Um, and all the way down the line to our three vodkas, our gins, our liqueurs, our whiskey program, our coffee liqueur, our absinthe, and uh, a little bit of everything. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce my good friend, uh, Eric Books, local bartender in the Boston area. Um, He's uh, the master of mixes, and he's here to make up some great cocktails. Thank you, Brian. Um, yeah, we're going to make a couple cocktails today and touch on... I wish that we could touch on everything in the portfolio. Um, I have had the opportunity to go to Alameda and taste all of these things at the tasting room. Beautiful, looks out to the bay, looking back out at San Francisco, and I'm a huge fan of their spirits and um, big fan of this guy. So... Yeah, let's make some drinks. Um, we'll start off with, uh, let's do a rye cocktail. All right. We're going to do the St. George Dry Rye. So our St. George Dry Rye Gin, one of our three gins, uh, four gins technically with our Dry Rye Reposado. Um, but the Dry Rye is definitely a, a unique one. Um, where our Terroir and our Botanivor Gin are 100% non-GMO corn base. Our dry rye gin is 100% pot still rye. Uh, we like to call this our whiskey drinker's gin. Uh, only six botanicals go in there, juniper, of course, coriander, caraway, lime peel, grapefruit peel, and Malabar black peppercorn. Um, it's a fun gin, 90 proof. Um, definitely like to do whiskey variation cocktails with it. Um, makes a killer Negroni, just makes a, a totally unique gin cocktails. Then we're gonna do the St. George Spice Pear Liqueur. I think there's like 30 pounds of fruit in each you're, bottle. You're pretty good. Uh, 30, okay. About 35 pounds of pear in every single bottle that uh, we produce of our Spice Pear Liqueur, um, which is actually just made from our flagship, our Pear Eau de Vie. Um, so about 35 pounds of pears. Uh, we use the whole fruit, stems, leaves, skin, seeds, everything gets crushed, cold fermented, and then distilled. Um, to make the liqueur, we proof it down to 40 proof. Um, and we add whole cinnamon sticks, whole cloves, fresh pear juice for the color, and a touch of liquid organic cane sugar. So it's just a scant little bit of yellow chartreuse, and then some rich simple syrup to kind of bind everything together. And two dashes of Regan's orange bitters. We're gonna get some ice. So you're gonna pack your mixing glass with ice, let it chill for a second, and then you wanna stir to dilution, which is roughly 20, 25%. So in a three ounce cocktail build, that's gonna look at like 3.75, four ounces roughly. Nice and chilled. So is this a variation on a cocktail? It is. So one of my favorite cocktails in the fall is a gin cocktail called the Alaska, which is usually London dry style gin and um, yellow chartreuse, a couple dashes of orange bitters. And the thing that I love about the St. George Spice Liqueur is you can drink it on its own and it's absolutely delicious, but it's got a lot of layers to it, nice cinnamon, kind of vanilla, clovey notes, um, and just a little bit of yellow chartreuse in there to kind of pay homage to the original, the Alaska. You can call this California. I actually think it's the first cocktail you made me when I met you. That sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, it's got all the things that I like. Um, in there? Yeah, like you mentioned, the spice rate liqueur, super versatile, while it definitely brings out those uh, flavors of fall and winter. Um, we are seeing bartenders do great things within the summer months. Uh, margaritas, um, great with sparkling wine, 
um, great in Manhattans and old fashions. Um, it really just um, is super versatile. The thing that I like about it uh, also is that it drinks like Jennifer or original gin. It's nice and spicy and rich and full bodied. Um, so definitely a fan as the weather gets colder. And then for aromatics, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon peel. Usually it would have an orange peel, but we're just gonna brighten it up a little bit with everything that's going on. Express the oil over the top. It's a beautiful thing. Do you want to do the ingredients like one more time? Yeah, so it's two ounces of the St. George dry rye gin, three quarter ounce of the St. George spice pear liqueur, and then a quarter ounce of the yellow chartreuse, and two dashes of Reagan's orange bitters, and a lemon peel for garnish. Perfect. Super simple cocktail people can make at home. I feel like I should drink it. It would be a crime. It would be a crime. Cheers. Perfect.